Marshalltown is the county seat of Marshall County, Iowa, located in central Iowa along the Iowa River and is the 16th largest town in the state of Iowa, with a population of 27,591 at the time of the 2020 census. It has a total land area of 19.2 square miles and it sits 942 feet above sea level. In April 1851, Henry Anson arrived in what he stated was the prettiest place in Iowa after settling in the area between the Iowa River and Lynn Creek. It wasn't until two years later in 1853 that Henry Anson decided to name the town Marshall, the same name of a previous town in Michigan that he had lived in at one time. Under the leadership of Anson, the town grew fast, reaching a population of 981 according to the 1860 census and even obtaining the role as county seat of Marshall County, Iowa, after the Iowa Supreme Court decided in favor of Marshall in December of 1859 instead of Marietta, which was the original county seat. In 1863, the town was renamed to Marshalltown in order to avoid any confusion with another town in Henry County, Iowa, named Marshall. Despite being the county seat, Marshalltown wasn't actually incorporated until 1923, about 63 years after becoming county seat. Interestingly enough, founder Henry Anson was the father of Major League Baseball player Adrian Cap Anson, who was known as the greatest baseball player of his time and one of the very first superstars of baseball. At the age of 15, Adrian played for Marshalltown's town team, which featured his father Henry Anson at third base, his brother Sturgis at center field, and Adrian himself at second base. In 1868, they won the Iowa State Championship and went on to play the Rockford Forest Cities in 1870, which led to Sturgis, Henry, and Adrian being offered contracts to play for Rockford. While Sturgis and Henry turned the offer down, Adrian accepted it, kick-starting his career as a professional baseball player in 1871. Years later, Marshalltown named its baseball team the Marshalltown Ansons in honor of the Anson family, playing from 1914 until 1928 as a minor league team. In the early days of the town, while it was growing fast, the city took the initiative by working hard and receiving tax aid in order to get a railroad in the town. Luckily, a man named Greenleaf Woodbury had promoted the Cedar Rapids and Missouri River Railroad Company, which led to the building of a railroad from the Missouri River to Cedar Rapids, which was accomplished on June 11, 1859. The line was completed in January 1863 after four years of working to make sure the line would go through Marshalltown and not Marietta. Luckily, they succeeded, and the first train arrived on March 11, 1863, staking Marshalltown's importance as a railroad stop. Marshalltown also was the starting place of many companies, such as Fisher Controls, Lennox International, and Marshalltown Company. In 1890, Marshalltown Company was founded by Dave Lennox, who had been born in Detroit and moved to Marshalltown in 1881, originally being hired by the Iowa Steel Wire Company before creating his business in 1890, in order to make trowels. Despite forging the first trowel of the company, Lennox chose to hand over operations of Marshalltown Company to his apprentice Jesse Williams, who with his brother E. Lester Williams grew the company to what it is today. Five years later in 1895, Lennox created another company related to furnaces and began selling them until he sold the company in 1904 to another Marshalltown businessman by the name of David Norris, who named the company Lennox Furnace Company. On April 23, 1961, an F3 tornado hit the south side of town, damaging many structures and costing the town a million dollars. Luckily though, it only killed one person and injured 12 people. Again, on July 19, 2018, another F3 tornado hit Marshalltown, this time hitting the downtown area, resulting in damage to the courthouse spiral, historic downtown buildings, and other structures. With its extensive history, Marshalltown still continues to grow and house businesses, as it is the home to the Iowa Veterans Home and Marshalltown Community College, which was founded in 1927. One of the biggest attractions near Marshalltown is Big Treehouse, a 5,000 square foot treehouse started in 1983 by a college student at the Shady Oaks Campground. Even with its continuous growth though, the town's population increase has seemed to have declined with only a 0.1% increase between the years 2010 and 2020, according to the numbers recorded by the U.S. Census. Even with the decrease in population growth, Marshalltown still hosts events for its community all the time, with community events going on almost every day.